Hey guys, welcome to an, another episode of What the Tech Show. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a tool that I've been using from day one of my business. And you need this tool if you're working with clients because this tool helps you get your contracts electronically signed, which is really important for your contract to become legally binding. So if you're working with clients, this tool is a must and the best part is it is free to get started. So I'm going to go ahead, share my screen and share with you the tool called HelloSign. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at HelloSign. So if you go under uh, products, we're talking about HelloSign. So you can go into pricing. And you can see that you can get started for free uh, and you can have three signature requests per month on the free plan. Now, if you're just getting started, this is great because once you get your first three clients, you'll be at a position to go to the pro plan. But this is great to get started. So you can just click here and get started. I'm just going to go ahead and log in into my account. And I'm just gonna log in using Google. Okay. When you sign up and log in, it's really easy. Uh, so when you are sending out documents to sign, you just have to pick who all have to sign this so generally if it's a contract with a client it'll be you and others so you just have to choose me and others and so here uh, you see sign documents templates now templates are on the paid plan so i'm not going to be talking much about it but you can use one of their templates or you can create your own contract in word i would just google uh, templates for contracts and just customize it according to your requirements. That's what I generally do. And under documents, you'll see a list of all your documents that have been signed, that are out for signature, completed, all of those things. And then under integrations, uh, HelloSign has a bunch of integrations. I will show you a couple that you can use using Zapier, which is um, kind of a connection tool where you can integrate tools with each other so first let's go ahead and look at the sign documents feature so i'm going to pick up me and others and then i'm just going to add a file so the file is going to be your contract so i'm just using an older contract that i had And here, who needs to sign? So one is going to be you and the second is going to be the client. So I'm just going to write test. Uh, test at gmail.com. Right. And here you see that uh, this is my signature. So you can just go ahead and edit your signature and create an electronic signature for yourself. And I'm just going to click prepare documents for signing. And I'm just going to not, I'm going to ignore because this is an old document, like I said. Um, so here, um, you can drag and drop this for a signature and drag and drop this for the date. And then you can select who is this uh, who is going to sign this space and then you can select yourself or select the client and you can drag this again here and say this is going to be by the client and the date and the date again is going to be that by the client so now this agreement uh, and this is going to be towards the end of the document i'm just giving you an example but it's going to be towards the end so this is going to be you and this is going to be your client and you all are both going to sign this document and then you can just click continue here and you can title the document so facebook ads contract and you can write a message test sign and then you can just click on request signature. So what when you click on this, this request will be sent to you on your email address and to your client. And then both of you can 
sign this uh, request and then the contract will become legally binding. So now um, that's basically it. That's how you get your contract signed using Hello sign. It's really simple. Now I'm I'm going to take you inside of Zapier and show you some integrations that you can do. Now I have a paid account. You can use a free account if you're just using one Zap. Uh, it's really easy. So all you have to do is click on create a Zap. So I'm already inside create a Zap, and then I will say that I want to connect Hello sign not hello bar, but hello sign to, uh, so if you're using a payment invoice creating software like Wave, for example, Wave is again a free accounting tool. I can share about it in the next video, but I'll just show it to you. So Wave. So now when signature request is signed, I want to create an invoice. So this is one of the zaps that you can create. And then you click on use zap. And then you'll have to choose your hello sign account. You'll have to sign in through hello sign. I'm just going to test it. Or just skip test. And I already have a wave account. And then you can customize your invoice. So you can choose your business here and your description, right? So you probably want the name, email address of the person who signed it in the description, the price, the product. So for this, you'll have to create different products in Wave and just customize all of this so when someone signs that invoice they automatically are sent uh, sorry when they sign the document the contract they're automatic automatically send this invoice so these are just some ways you can start you know automate automating your business a little bit the another thing that you can do is when someone signs a contract in hello sign you can create a google drive folder for them or you can uh, create a channel in Slack if you use Slack for communication or you can create a board in Trello, right? So let's look at that. So I'm going to click on make a Zap. And when someone signs the contract, I want to create a board in Trello for them create a card or create a boat, right? So these are the different things that you can do uh, with Zapier using HelloSign. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.